So I got a request from one of my favorite viewers to ask me if I wouldn't mind introducing my horses. And uh, of course, I love talking about my horses. So this is Sassy, and I'm going to start with her because she was the first horse that I brought home uh, about seven years ago. And I got all three of my horses from the same person. She kind of takes in horses that um, people don't want anymore or neglected or abused horses. So I got all three from them. These two, Sassy and Charlie, they knew each other. So you should have seen it when I brought Charlie home. Um, she, you know, Sassy about blew her mind when she seen Charlie. They were so happy to see each other. But anyway, this is Sassy. She's quarter horse. She's about 22 years old. She was a great horse to get back into horses with because um, she has a really laid back attitude. Uh, no buck, no rear, uh, nothing too bad. She's a quarter horse and uh, I believe the color you would say she is is sorrel, I believe. Don't quote me on that, I just call her red. And let's see, uh, the health issue that she has is she gets cl uh, clogged tear ducts. So the vet uh, decided to try oil, it didn't work. So I just ended up, um, we were gonna flush them also, but we, I just decided just to maintain her eyes. So you can see her eyes run I just maintain it by making sure her, ears, her eyes are clean. Um, maybe you flush them out with saline when they're bothered, irritated. Um, make sure she wears a mask in the summertime. So I don't know if I said it, she's about 15.1 hands high, which Charlie actually is 15.1 hands high also. You wouldn't think so, but she has uh, uh, very defined withers. She uh, starting to get a little bit uh, sway back, just a little bit. I think it's because of how old she is now and she's been a brood mare and been ridden for years. You tell him fast. And now, Charlie, I got him a year later. And the reason I got wanted to get him was I wanted another horse, but I also, uh, Sass needed a friend, and Charlie, uh, they already knew each other, so I brought Charlie home. Now, Charlie, uh, the vet said he's a Palomino paint. He's about probably 15 now. He doesn't have any health issues. The only thing is she has, he has thin soles, um, and he's a little bit pigeon-toed. Um, that's about it with health issues with Charlie. Charlie, uh, he acts like he's two, even though he's 15. I love his personality. He's not a beginner horse. He's the type of horse, he actually acts a little scallion-ish. Uh, I think it's because he was gelded late. Um, the previous owner, she thought when she got him that he was like two or three, she had him gelded. But uh, when I had the vet come up to check him out and see what his age was, we figured out he didn't get uh, gelded until he was like five or six. So he does have a little bit of stallionish behavior. And what I mean by that is he's not forgiving. And if he, you know, if he has somebody on his back that does not know what they're doing, he gets confused. And when he gets confused, he gets nervous and he's going to want you off. So nobody else has ridden him but me. And I was lucky enough to be able to start him myself. And uh, that, that was an adventure. But Charlie, uh, because I got to start him myself, it was, it was difficult because he had hu little human contact. He had never been ridden, never been trained. And uh, I, had a, <laughs> I had a lot of work ahead of me when I started him. But don't tell the girls, he, he, he is my favorite. But Charlie, he's a great horse. They're, they're all great horses. And Stella, Stella here, She's actually the dominant of the three. Um, before I got Stella, Charlie was the dominant of the two, but since I brought Stella home, uh, she became dominant. There's mornings where I'll wake up and Charlie will have uh, uh, some scratches, some hair pulled out because he's, he's fighting for that dominance, but she's, she's, she's the dominant one. Stella here, she's about eight years old. She's, a, I believe, a Morgan Thorbred cross. And uh, the lady I got her from, where she got her from, she was supposed to be used for dressage. And uh, I don't know, that's the story. She was supposed to be used for dressage and then jumping. Uh, Stella did not enjoy it. And the lady ended up getting rid of, rid of her to, to my friend. And then I got her. But uh, I, I haven't measured her yet. But the vet averaged her to be a little over 16 hands high. Um, the only health issue she has is she has a little bit of oral plaque in her ears, a little white crusties. She doesn't have it that bad. It doesn't seem to bother her. The vet just said, just 
keep an eye on it. And uh, she's, uh, you know, these two girls, um, they had been, been moved around from home to home, especially uh, Sass. She had been a brood mare. And uh, with her personality, because she's a mare, uh, she was a little bit difficult, didn't want to, um, she wanted to do what she wanted to do. So she was, she was tossed around a lot. She had a lot of homes before she got home to me. Stella, um, she actually had a couple homes before I got her also. So they haven't had the greatest life uh, until now. And uh, let's see, I think that's, uh, that's all about And uh, until next time, we thank you for watching. Bye-bye.